Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'd like to show you how I replaced this really old leather ottoman with a really pretty mirrored coffee table that I made. So if you're interested in seeing how I made this beautiful home decor piece, then just keep watching. So the first thing I did was visit my local Home Depot. There I found this four by eight foot BC sanded plywood. I had the worker there to cut my plywood into the pieces that I needed to make my coffee table. At the Home Depot, I also picked up this Gorilla Construction Adhesive, some Gorilla Wood Glue, and these finish nails. Next, I visited my local Lowe's. There, I got my mirrors custom cut. I'll leave the measurements for my mirror cuts down in the description box. I also used this black acrylic paint that I already had, as well as these magic slider glides. I think you can get these from Target for about $5. And these rhinestones that I picked up from Joanne's Fabric. I'll tell you that originally I was using this PL Max Premium Adhesive to attach my wood together. This was a recommendation from one of the workers at the Home Depot. That same worker told me that I didn't really need any nails, just this adhesive. And while the adhesive was very strong, I did not like how messy the adhesive was. It was not easy to work with, and I really did not want to wait the 48 hours for the glue to dry and cure. Instead, I took my pieces apart and I used the wood glue and the nails to attach my wood pieces together. I allowed this to dry for about four hours and then I flipped it upside down and used my Gorilla Construction Adhesive to attach my 12 smaller mirrors around my coffee table. As you can see, I decided not to add the bottom wood piece to my coffee table. I thought that this would only add weight to the table and you really won't see it. So it didn't feel like it was necessarily needed. I allowed my coffee table to dry overnight. And then I used my black acrylic paint to paint the bottom and the exposed wood sides of my design. Next, I added my gliders to all four corners of my design. Because I am leaving the wood exposed on the bottom of my coffee table, the glides will make sure that I can slide my coffee table without scratching my floors. Next, I carefully placed my design right side up, and then I used my black acrylic paint to paint the 40 inch side of my coffee table. I 
I then used that same Gorilla construction adhesive to attach the final four mirrors to the top of my coffee table. Next, I used my hot glue gun to attach my rhinestones along the sides of my coffee table. To complete the project, I cleared away my glue strings, cleaned my mirrors, and here was my finished look. So there you have it guys, one beautiful mirrored coffee table that I made for just a little over $100. I was really happy with how this turned out and also pleased that I was able to make my very own mirrored coffee table for the fraction of the cost it would take to purchase a table of this size from a retailer. So I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. If so, please like, comment, and share. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and be sure to turn on your notifications so that you don't miss my next video. Remember, I upload new videos every single week. So until next time, guys, bye.